video here in the case of state uh, in the interest of JT just to make sure I have all in. Uh, case number 2015 DP 1318 this is a follow-up concerning the contempt that was uh, entered by Judge Rennell and where are we at uh, department oh, your honor I will um defer to Mr. Brown to okay. provide an update. Perfect. Mr. Brown? Your Honor, uh, the autopsy was yesterday. The forensic odontologist is coming down today. Uh, uh, I was hoping to get with him and get a time frame for the court. I don't have one at this point, so I can't advise the court whether the identification process will be completed today or tomorrow or will carry into next week. Okay. When do you think you'll have that information? Uh, I'm hoping to get it this afternoon. Okay. Um, Mr. Roberts, anything that I'm going to be told at this time? Okay. All right. With that in mind, the uh, court's going to go ahead and find. I guess what I'll do is, um, if I don't hear any argument against it, I would put this on for, again, uh, for tomorrow afternoon if Mr. Brown, if I mean tomorrow morning, if Mr. Brown, if you hear and get any information, you could go ahead, Mr. Roberts. I was just wondering, does the court need my client to be brought in? I mean, the, it seems to me that they're either going to I've got child or not, and whichever way that goes, she's, as I said the other day. I've got to give her the opportunity. I mean, I just. But I'm, I'm her counsel. I understand. And, 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 and I'm telling the court, as I said the other day, um, my opinion, and I know the court's view is that you're enforcing contempt, not, not the issuing uh, judge, but that contempt should never have been issued. Um, my client has an absolute right uh, to exercise, so the point of her coming, continuing to come back to court, uh, I'll leave it up to court, but I just think continuing to have Thoughts on that? Over Thoughts on that, Mr. Bro Mr. Brown? I leave that to the court's discretion. I mean... I don't have a problem if we have her appear video, if that would be, I mean, kind of a meeting in the middle so she doesn't have to tra transfer it all the way here, et cetera. Um, I'm just concerned that uh, she has the right, if for some reason she wants to change her position against counsel's advice or something, that Ms. Uh, and, and I can see you're shaking your head, and I absolutely understand that Mr. Roberts is giving you, you know, the advice he thinks is appropriate, but my job at this point is to make sure she has access to the keys, at least on this particular case, and I don't feel that it's my prerogative to, to deny that. Could, could I ask um, Mr. Brown, if Mr. Brown does get information this afternoon, I know we had depositions uh, later in the day, perhaps he could tell me. Well, that's what I was going to say. If you guys, well, I'll tentatively put it on for tomorrow morning and have, if you got, if it turns out that we're not going to have the information till next week sometime, I won't have it, I won't have a hearing tomorrow. I wouldn't put it on. I'll just tentatively put it on for 8 o'clock. If it turns out that there's going to be no, more time needed, then I would just put it on for uh, uh, next week in front of Judge Brunell, send it back to Judge Brunell. We'll be back then for Monday and then have him uh, take over at that point. Okay? So... Someone's going to have to communicate with my office by 1700 or 5 p.m. this afternoon, okay? Yes, Your Honor. All right, and Mrs. What? At yes. If it's one, if it's if it's uh, canceled uh, for tomorrow, then we would put it on D Judge Brunell's docket at 1:30 on Monday morning, or Monday afternoon, excuse me. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Your Honor.